Saint Cyril and Saint Methodius were two brothers who lived and died in the ninth century. In the earlier years, Cyril taught with distinction at Constantinople and Methodius was governor of a province. They both became priests and in about 863 were sent to preach the gospel in Moravia in modern day Czech Republic. They were very successful in this, not least because of their knowledge of the Slavonic language. They however faced strong opposition from other authorities and from the church authorities as well, who were from other missionaries and from the church authorities who were against the creation of a more Slavonic expression of the Christian faith and liturgy. Cyril died on a visit to Rome in 869 and his remains were buried in the church of San Clemente in Rome, a church now in the care of the Irish Dominicans, and we wish them a happy feast. As for Methodius, shortly after the death of his brother, he was made a bishop but was nonetheless put in prison at the instigation of the authorities. After two mere years of, of, after a mere two years of imprisonment, Pope John VIII got him released. Methodius continued his missionary work until he was summoned to Rome to answer charges made by his opponents. Methodius was thankfully exonerated and was given permission for his clergy to celebrate the liturgy in Slavonic. Now, whatever one's view on the language used in the liturgy, in particular the vernacular, all this is a reminder that modern debates are rarely without some degree of precedence. To quote Ecclesiastes 1.9, there is nothing new under the sun. In any case, poor and heroic Methodius continued to be harassed, which included a forged papal letter used against him. He died in 885, some think in modern-day Velhorad in the Czech Republic, close to the border with Slovenia. The role of St. Cyril in particular in the development of the Slavic languages and culture was immense. It was he who basically worked out what is called today the Glagolithic alphabet, and some have thought that he might have had a role in the working out of the alphabet called after him, the Cyrillic alphabet, the alphabet used by over 250 million people today, not least in Russia. One lesson to draw from the lives of St. Cyril and Methodius is that the work of evangelization of new peoples and of different cultures can involve delicate questions that require careful reflection, especially when there are arguments pulling in opposite directions. Such evangelization requires great courage to be willing to adapt to those to whom one wishes to spread the good news. But this should be done in a way that does not unwittingly undermine the good news. It requires fidelity to the gospel, but also an open heart and an open mind, courage, imagination, and a sensitivity to the needs of others and what it might be like to be someone within that cultural context. It was in 1980 that Pope St. John Paul II declared St. Cyril and St. Methodius among the patron saints of Europe, representing the enormous contribution of the Slavic and Eastern European peoples to the story of Europe. Regardless of what one thinks about Brexit or the EU, that we in England celebrate St. Cyril and St. Methodius, not as a memoria, but as a feast, because they are among the patron saints of Europe, along with St. Benedict, St. Bridget of Sweden, St. Catherine of Siena, Dominican, and St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, is a reminder not only of our geographical location, but also of a common history and heritage, a complicated history and heritage to be sure, but one nonetheless profoundly imbued by Christianity, to which this land of England has made an important contribution and will hopefully continue to do so regardless of political structures. So today we celebrate two great heroic missionaries who raise perennial points for reflection for us today, 
and on this feast a special good wish towards all in our community of Slavic or Eastern European culture and background. And we pray for peace in the eastern part of, of this continent. Unless we forget, today is also traditionally St. Valentine's Day, after the third century Roman martyr. We pray too for all who are seeking their way in life. St. Cyril and St. Methodius and St. Valentine pray for us.